Welcome, where we're going to look at Easter in Disguise. And this report has been done greatly by the work of Hislop and Two Babylons, a book that must be read, should be read, and it's difficult to be read. So let's get off with some scripture right off the bat. And 1 Kings 14.6. And it was so when Ahijah heard the sound of her feet, as he came in at the door, that he said, Come in, thou wife of Jeroboam. Why feignest, pretend, act thyself to be another? Disguise. Easter, believe it or not, is almost like a Halloween. It's dressing up to be something that is not. And then we got Acts chapter 12, verse 1. And Acts 12, 1 says, Now about the time that King Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church. And he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter. Then were the days of unleavened bread. So, what do we have here? We got a mess. That's what we got. Because when we continue on, see, we got one more verse to read. And when he had apprehended Peter, him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quadrillion, quadrillions of soldiers to keep him, attending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. And people will take that word Easter and it's the only place in the Bible it shows up. And we got to look at, is Easter Passover, is the Passover Easter? Well, simplify, we can say, let's look at it. Easter. E-A-S-T-E-R. Passover. P-A-S-S-O-V-E-R. They're not spelled the same. So, a therosis wouldn't say Easter is Passover, and if it does, well, let's see what this, let's see what this says. It is. So, here we go. I hope you got something good that you know you can throw. I got my my dog's duck here. I'm gonna throw. I wish it would fly back, cause you know I could throw it across the room. It ain't gonna do no damage. And fly back, but I'm gonna try to contain myself. Cause if this doesn't get you mad. On how the church is acting today and how the church partakes of this, we'll see by the end what I mean. And if you're still going to partake of this sin, because all right, Easter is not a Christian name. That's how we're going to start the report right there. Now, I'm not going to force you. You got a free will to do whatever you do, whatever you want to do. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you're a born again Bible believing Christian or you're a, you're a born again saved Christian and you have a perverted Bible and you end up at the judgment seat of Christ saved, this is going to be wood, hay, or stubble. You're not going to get any rewards out of this mess. You can't. Easter is not a Christian name. I already probably turned people off. It is Chaldean. A member of ancient people who lived in Chaldea. Uh, 800 BC. And ruled Babylonia. 625 to 539 BC. They were renowned as astrologers and astrologers. In origin. They looked to the heavens. Easter is Astarte. A-S-T-A-R-T-E, Astarte, that's a goddess of the titles of Beltis, the Queen of Heaven. Easter is Astarte. Easter is Astarte is also Ishtar. Let's get that off right now. And as Beltis, the same as Astarte, we have the Queen of Heaven. Utter nonsense, but we'll read on. Right now, that's, that paragraph right there should be enough. Okay, if you can prove it, I'm done with Easter. 
I've been done with Easter many, 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 many years ago. The, that name, as found by Leonard, L-A-Y-A-R-D, on Assyria, non-Christian or non-Jewish monuments, Ishtar, Astarte, Beltis, and Ishtar. This is Lyler's book, Nineveh and Babylon, page 629. I am going to give you, as I already told you, we're using Hislop's books and other resources. I am going to give you the name of the author and the books, and, uh, and if we have it, the page number. I'm going to give you documented proof, and it's not, oh, that's what Stolle thinks. I'll tell you what I think, and I'll tell you what is documented proof. Easter is the name of Estarte, Beltis, and the Queen of Heaven, which comes back to Estar. The worship of Baal, another god, Babylonian god, you find him in the Bible, and Estarte was very early introduced into Britain, which is now long left as Christianity roots, which is long left where the King James Bible has come from. Are now involved with Islam and paganism, along with the Druids. Now, when you when you're going to study something and say, "Hey, you know, is this Christian or not?" and you come across the Druids, right then and there, you need okay, I'm stop. It's done. When Druids come up in the history of something as involved in the church, or uh, or should I celebrate it as a Christian? be gone. Druids, the priest of the groves. And if you know God in the Old Testament, God is against the groves. They're abomination. They turn to worship God. I know Abraham made a grove, but he worshiped Jehovah. But later on, the groves were given to all the castes of the gods and goddesses. From Baal, that's B-E-L, I don't know if I spell it, the first of May is called Beltane in the Automat. Oliver and Boyd's Edinburgh Automat, 1860. Which resembles the same worship today as Bel or alias Molech, another fallen god. Found in the Bible. In many parts of Britain. Lady Bard, Bird, Burn Tower, Perthshire, quote, Every year at Beltane, or the 1st of May, and this is what was called Beltane in Olimat, or the 1st of May, a number of men and women assembled at the ancient Druidical Dru 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 Circle of stones on her property near Cairo, C R I E F L. The light, they light fires in the center. Each person puts a bit of coal cake, coal cake, in a shepherd's bonnet. They all sit down and draw a blindfold, a piece from the bonnet. One piece has been previously blackened. And whoever gets that piece has to jump through the fire, Molech, has to jump through the fire. In the Old Testament, the Israelites and the Canaanites were burning their children to Molech. He was a brass image mechanically designed to take a child in his arm and to be thrown into a furnace that was his belly. Molech. He's to jump through the fire in the center of the circle and pay a forfeit. I think that's a amount of money. In fact, this part 
ancient ritual of Baal, the sun god, found in the Bible. And these are all gods, small g-o-d-s, small g-o-d-d-e-s-s-e-s, -S 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 -S, goddesses. These are not God the Father, God Jehovah, God Jesus Christ, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Know that. And the person on whom the lot fell was previously burnt as a sacrifice. Human sacrifice. This is the future, I mean, this is the history, this is the foundation we're going to get into Lent. Yeah, we're going to look at Lent and Esther. I hope I will say Esther instead of Easter, except for what I'm reading. So thus, if Baal was worshipped in Britain, and he was, much less to find his counterpart, his wife, and start day. The god and the goddess adorned in worship. I mean, if her husband is in Britain, well, the, the, the wife will be in Britain. Astarte, soon to be called Estar, by the people of Nineveh, you know, where Jonah was called. The religious gravities of April, now practiced in the name of Easter, Pagan ancestors have called Easter mana, or I would believe that would have been changed to month. So we already see Druids, we also see Baal, we see Asterisk, we see Baal, we, uh, B E L and B A A L, we see Molech, we see sacrificing of humans, we see the, the, it played out in the Bible and God calls an abomination. This is page 2 of 14. Do I need to go further? Have you not got the Christian heart and the Holy Spirit inside you saying, if you partake of this, it's wrong. Don't do it. And I got a whole series on Christmas if you want to check that one out. The festival under the name of Easter you know, it's called Easter. Third and fourth centuries was quite a different festival from that now observed by the Romish Church, Catholic. And then it was not known as the name Easter. Easter is a name particular to the British Isles or British Islands. It was called Pash. Or Passover. Though not of the, the Apostles' institution, not of the Apostles' Creed, not of the, 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 the Apostles that went out to the Book of Acts, was very early observed by many professing Christians in, come, in, in order of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. So Pash, what they call Passover, Christians honoring this time. It was not given of the apostles to do this. And especially the death and burial resurrection of Jesus. Paul calls it the gospel. And when Paul preaches the gospel, go in all the world and preach the gospel, Mark writes to us that Jesus said, he never mentions in the name of Easter. It is given in the name of the Bible once in Acts chapter 12. Why? Well, what is the context of Acts chapter 12? Verse 1, about the time King, about the time Herod the king. Who's Herod king of? Rome. What's his holiday? Verse 4, attending after Easter. That Easter in Acts chapter 12, is Herod said, listen, I'm going to kill Peter. When am I going to kill Peter? He, he looks at his Roman calendar and he says, ah, Easter's coming up. We'll sacrifice Peter Rabbit on Easter. Acts chapter 12, verse 3, because he saw it pleased the Jews, 
Hebrew. The unsaved Jews like, aha, I got one of them Christians. Aha. He proceeded further to take Peter. And they were happy that John was killed. All right, he took Peter. And there's a there's parentheses. A no, they were the days of the unleavened bread. Who is the days of unleavened bread? The Jews that were pleased that the Christians were being killed by the Romans. And what's the Roman time called? Verse 4, Easter. Socrates, you've heard of him, an ancient ecclesiastical historic history, yeah, historian. Ooh, I'm having a problem today. Of Easter observed in his lifetime. Now, this is Socrates, the fifth century. Quote This much already laid down may seem a specific treatise to prove that the celebration of the feast of Easter began began everywhere more of custom than by any commandment there of Christ or any apostle. Quote, history, Ecclesi, Ecclesi, E-C-C-E-E-S-I-A-S-T, -E -E Lip Cat 22. Socrates says that Easter had nothing to do with Christ and apostles writing the 5th century. Everyone knows that the name Easter used in our translation of Acts 12.4 refers not to any Christian festival, but to a Jewish Passover. Ooh. There's the Jewish Passover that I read to you, and then there's the Easter. They're two different things. Yet Easter was the Roman festival, okay, and Passover was the Hebrew festival. So, what do we have? Let's look at it again. Rome's festival. Easter was a Roman festival. So, when he, Herod, king of Rome, had apprehended him, Peter, and he put him in prison and delivered him four quintillions of soldiers to keep him attending after Easter. The Roman looks at his calendar and says, okay, Easter's coming up. That's our celebration. We'll sacrifice Peter the rabbit to Estarte or Ishtar. And the Jews were happy, verse 3, because James has already been killed. Easter has not happened in verse 3. Easter's coming up on the calendar, verse 4. And because he saw it pleased the Jews that James, the brother of John, was killed, he proceeded to further to take Peter also. Prentice note of verse 3, these were the days of unleavened bread just after the Passover. The days of unleavened bread began the day after the Passover. So verse 3, you got Hebrew of Acts 12. Verse 4, you got the Gentile Roman government. Easter. Easter. Estar. Estarte. You have marked in, in Acts chapter 12, verse 4, you have marked on a calendar of Rome a Roman holiday, my friend. All right, let's get into Lent because Lent is part of it. I think, matter of fact, I think Lent is over with, maybe, I don't. The feast Lent originally agreed with the time of the Jewish Passover. Now, the Hebrews were to give up leaven during this. Absolutely no leaven at all. And I've been told by Jewish families who are born-again Christians, and I've been told by Jewish uh, rabbi who wasn't saved when asked the question, he both of them came to the fact that they would sweep or vacuum out today their house. They would make sure there's not even a dust of leaven to be found anywhere. The wives, the daughters, and all that of that house would completely, completely clean up that house of leaven. What's the Roman version of of the of the unleavened bread? Well, I'll give up liquor. I'll give up 
candy. I'll give up smoking. I'll give up Facebook. I'll give up things that God never said to give up, though some may be sin. And God wasn't talking to the Gentiles. He was talking to the Jews. When Christ was crucified, the Passover, this festival was not idolatry. Passover and it not Passover was not idolatrous, and it proceeded by no Lent. Passover had no idolatry, had no statues, had no images. It was forbidden by the Jews. It was forbidden by the law, and Passover had no Lent. They were supposed to get rid of the leaven, and that was it. So how many people who follow the 40 days of Lent go and have sandwich bread? Or any leavening during that 40 days? And how many of our actual Hebrews? So how do we know that Lent is not Passover? Let's try it now. L-E-N-T. Uh, Passover. P-A-S-S-O-B-E-R. Let me see. Cassinius, a monk of Marseilles, 5th century, contrasting the primitive church and the church of his day. That the observance of the 40 days Lent had no existence so as long as perfection of the primitive church remained entire. The church of the apostles throughout the book of Acts and Paul on his missionary journey never had a Lent. That's Ibid, volume 2, page 42, note. So where did the observance come from? The 40 days of abstinence of Lent was directly borrowed from the worshippers of Babylonian goddess. Goddess. Lent of 40 days in the spring of the year is still observed by the Yizadis, or pagan devil worshippers. I'm going to do something for church. I'm going to do something for Christ. So I'm going to find something where I find devil worshippers. That's got to be good. And I'll take, I'll peel off the devil worshippers name, and I'll peel on the name of Christ or Christian, and God's got to accept it. Nonsense. Nonsense. Accordistinant. This is Leyland. We quoted him before. Nineveh and Babylon, page 93. Who have inherited from their early masters, drum roll please, Babylonians. Let me tell you, if it's Chaldean, if it's Babylonian, if it's Egyptian, and if it's Roman, just take it and throw it in the garbage. You don't even need to study. But if you want to get some facts to fill your head, keep it. So Lent is followed by pagan devil worshippers that came from the Babylonians. Woohoo! Yay! Let me not get involved in that, please. Stolen from God on the Passover when the Jews were to give up unleavened bread, but the Catholics will give up everything else and still eat our sandwich bread. Oh, which are not Hebrews. Such a Lent of 40 days was held in the spring by the Mexicans. Oh, let me take that back. It was held in the spring by the pagan Mexicans. Oh yeah, sign me up for that. Thus read by Humboldt, H-U-M-B-O-L-D-T in Mexican Researchers, Volume 1, page 404, 
Then I'm giving you the facts. I'm giving you documented evidence. Three days after the vernal equinox began a solemn fast of 40 days in honor of the drumroll sun, Baal, Zeus, not S-O-N, S-U-N, where women lay half naked in front of the sun god to toast them nice and brown. We'll get into sunrise service in a moment. That's coming up too. Such a length of 40 days were reserved by Egypt. Wilkinson's Egypt Iniquity, uh, Antiquity, sorry, volume 1, page 278. The Egyptian Lent of 40 days. This is not nothing new. Don't give me the, well, Lent is followed by Jesus Christ and the death, burial, son. The Egyptians were doing this. The Mexicans were doing this. The Babylonians were doing it. Remember what I said? If it's Babylonian, if it's, if, if it's Nineveh, if it's uh, Romish, Egyptian, you don't need to think, do I can do this as a Christian? Landseer, Sabian Researchers, page 112, was held ex expressly in the honor of Dinus or Osiris. Look at all the gods. We're, we're, we're doing a study here about Est, I mean Easter, Estar. Look at all the gods and goddesses we are finding here. Have we yet found God the Father? Have we not found Jesus? No, we, oh yeah, in honor of the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus, but we're followed by goddesses. We're followed by gods and all over the world. This is being celebrated before Jesus was even born. Never mind his death, burial, and resurrection. So don't believe the Romish church that we're founded upon Jesus Christ. I can find your religion in the book, book of Judges. With a Levite priest that's consecrated. And he was given a housing allowance. He was given a house. And he was called father. That is long, 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 long before Jesus was born. Never mind his death. Arnabas tells that the fast Lent was by the Christians in a time believed to have been primary in the initiation of the long feast or fast of Crease. C-E-R-E-S. When for many days she determined to refuse to eat on the account of excessive sorrow, Arnardipus his book, Adversus Gentus, G-E-N-T-E-S, page 403. So C-E-R-E-S is another god that fasted. I'm fasting chocolate for Lent. Were you doing it for Jesus? Well, yeah, no you're not. You're doing it for C-E-R-E-S, whatever that name is. God told the Israelites, you're not even to have the names of those gods on your lips. On the account of the loss of her daughter, Prosipine, Prosipine, which was carried away by Pluto. Did you know the dog of Disney is a fallen god? Do you know that all the planets in our solar system are named for fallen gods? And yet, Earth, no one knows where the name of Earth, the, 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 the exception, no one knows the name of Earth, where it came from. It came from God from the Bible. But the other planets, including Pluto, which sometimes a planet, sometimes not a planet, he's a fallen God. And who is Pluto of? The God of hell. So Pluto, the, the Disney dog, is Satan. Because Jesus said that hell was made for the devil and his angels.
What's wrong with Disney? Of all the names that choose, why, why not Fido? Why not Spot? Butch? But the God of Hell, Pluto? I think Pluto was Disney. I knew it was one of them dogs. Pagans? That's not a name to be associated with Christian. Christian, pagan, pagan, Christian are two opposite names. Pagans this Lent seems to have been an essential preliminary to the great annual fest annual Yeah, I said it right. Annual. Annual. Be nice, Tyler. Festival in the remembrance of the death and resurrection. Nice. There we are, Stolly. There it is. You got it. All right. Pagans this Lent seem to have been essential primary to the great annual festival in remembrance of the death and resurrection of Tammuz. I dare you to go ask your pastor what Tammuz is. And I may do another study at some time, Lord willing. I may do a study on the Antichrist of Tammuz. And we're going to read some things about Tammuz in a moment. Because you also celebrate Tammuz, not on Easter, Lent, also, but you celebrate the birthday of Tammuz. And when is the birthday of Tammuz? Have yourself a Merry Christ Mass. That's not the birthday of Jesus Christ, that's the birthday of Tammuz. And we see that the season of Lent that is followed by Easter. It is a festival in remembrance by the pagans of the death and resurrection of Tammuz, an artificial Jesus Christ. And we'll read about him in a moment. Which was celebrated by an alternate weeping and rejoicing. Ezekiel 8.14 then he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, the temple, where the Jews were to meet with God, which was toward the north. And behold, there sat women weeping for Tammuz, King James 1611, Ezekiel 1814, mentions the weeping of Tammuz, which they would call Lent. And God told Ezekiel that that was an abomination. Many of your Catholic traditions are biblical abominations to God. In many, in which many countries was considerably later than the Christian festival being observed in Palestine and Assyria in June. Therefore, called the month of Tammuz. So, before Lent, before Easter month of the Romish Church, there was a time and a month of Tammuz. And the Bible in Ezekiel, B.C., before Christ speaks about the women weeping for Tammuz. You better read your Bible. The Bible says to study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word. And we're looking at Lent. We haven't even got to Easter. We're looking before Easter. If you're a Christian, you are in participation of Lent. You are participating in Tammuz. Tammuz is an artificial Jesus Christ. You think that's going to go good to the judgment seat of Christ? Well, Jesus, I gave I gave the celebration to G you, Jesus, but I gave it in the name of the foundation of Tammuz. So there was a monk called Tammuz. And in Egypt, 
God says, get out of Egypt. God said, don't go back to Egypt. In Egypt, the middle of May, and in Britain, sometime in April. Oh, does that sound familiar? May or April? To reconcile the pagans to nominal Christianity. I like how you put that. Rome, pursuing its usual policy to measure to get the Christian and pagan feasts united, or what the bumper stickers say today, coexist. There it is. Coexist means let's get the Roman church and let's get the Christians saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. Why? Let's get them to mix into our pagan festivals so we can have one big orgy. Stolly, what kind of orgy? I'm using the truth. And to be ashamed that this is not coming out of the pulpits in the world. Never mind America. In the world. Very few pulpits are going to preach and teach what I am teaching you today. You got to get it on, on Facebook. You got to get it on YouTube. You got to get it on SoundCloud. And I am giving you the names and the books and the page numbers of these events and you can go online you can go to a library however you find information and you can find the more detail of what i'm doing right now because what i'm doing right now would fill a whole week and you can also find it in the pages of the bible as abomination that means god does not approve of it no matter what kind of title or tag you put on it complicated but skillful adjustment to the calendar they adjusted the calendar the tool used was abbot diocese the little ad 525 that's long after jesus died buried and arose again as modern timetables have demonstrated that the day of the Christian era, get this, or of Christ's birth was moved four years from the two time, true time. And before I make my comment, Geisher, G-I-E-S-E-L-E-R, Volume 1, page 54. Geisha presents as authority for the statement in the text. G.A. Hamburger, Hamburger, and I'm going to spell out this. D-E-E-P-O-C-H-O-E, -E -E, Christian, O-R-T-U-E-T, A-U-C-T-O-R-E, and Martini, T H E S A U R D I S S E R T A T third pay, uh, plate one, I guess, of page 241. Now I'm spelling these out because I don't even know how to say them, but I want you to get the truth. Joe G. Jani, Historia Error, A E R O E. D-I-O-N-Y-S-I-N-N-C-E V-I-L-E-B 1715 4 and I-D-E-L-E-R Chronicles C-H-R-O-N-O-L-O-G-I-E Volume 2 366 FF this statement is commonly made in all standard English Cornaro files. What's the statement now? Roman Church. Trying to find his name. Abbot Diocesus the Little. Moved the birth of Jesus four years. So your Roman calendar. 
The calendar that we use in America today, which is Roman, has been altered and has been changed many times. So we're going to date the Bible by our calendar. We're going to date the rapture. We're going to date the second advent of, of, of Jesus Christ by our calendar, which has been tampered and has been moved and has been changed by the Roman church, which defiles the Bible and defiles God, Jehovah. Where God uses the Hebrew calendar and the Hebrew times as mentioned in the Old Testament. And in Acts, we've already seen that. In Acts chapter 12, we see the, the Jewish time, days of unleavened bread. We see the Gentiles time according to Easter. And if you don't rightly divide Acts chapter 12, you're going to behold in great trouble of studying in the timetable of God. I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little break here. I am also taping this on... Uh, the movie maker and I gotta save this come back and this is gonna be a two-part for YouTube and all that so let me save this and I'll be right it's gonna stay live so 